Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is February 11th, 2018, and uh, my wife and I are in Cozumel, Mexico, since Thursday, Thursday night, Friday morning, uh, the 9th of February. My sister came in on a uh, cruise to Cozumel and invited my wife and I over actually paid our way. I didn't have the money to come over. And she helped us with the uh, bus fare and the ferry over and two nights in a, in a hotel and our meals. And this has been a wonderful blessing for my wife and I. And, um, and so we came in here and uh, the day that my wife need that my sister needed us here was the, the 10th of February. And I found it interesting that she's coming in on a cruise on the 10th of February. And and uh, this is, you know, what we've been watching as a seven-day warning, you know, to February 17th, wondering what was going to be happening. And um, and so, you know, we're, we're here in Cozumel enjoying, uh, you know, we enjoyed the time with my sister and my brother-in-law, and, and we've enjoyed our time away from the, the home and the kids, and, and we left the kids in charge, you know, with, uh, with some some other family members who were in charge for the weekend and uh, it's been nice to to be able to get away and so I've been uh, you know just waiting on the Lord and you know praying and wondering what type of uh, what type of warning we will receive as far as a seven-day warning you know if we're if we're at a time of a seven-day warning then I think that there will be something you know clear and and um something understandable. Well, I mean, I, um, uh, as I began the, you know, this morning, I, um, I began seeing some things and, um, I don't know. It just seems real, real clear to me where this is going. And so anyway, what we have, we have the Olympics that started, on February 10th okay and one of the things about the Olympics is that it's in South Korea and there's a focus on you know in Asia of dog trafficking and 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 dog meat in uh, you know a market of of dog meat and um, and so even 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 to the point of you know on the Drudge Report the main headline on February 10th, okay, this is the main headline on Drudge Report, February 10th, dog meat for Olympic soup. Okay, now, why is this significant? What could be, how could this become a warning to us? Okay, well, it has to do with animals, <laughs> number one, okay? I mean, when Noah got on the ark, there it was a sign of animals, okay? It was the animals. Well, anyway, so this is a sign. It has to do with an animal. It also has a direct connection, a seven-day connection to, to the Chinese New Year, okay? The Chinese New Year on February 16th. Okay, and uh, 2018 is the year of the dog. Okay, so I mean, what what's the you know what's the message here? Dog meat for Olympic soup. Okay, I mean, if you want to be a powerful athlete, then you need to eat dog meat. 2018 is the year of the dog. Now, I was searching in the scriptures for uh, some information about dogs. There's 40 uses. Okay, I'm not going to go through all 40 uses. I've got two uses I want to share with you, but I will leave the link to the 40 uses, and you guys can study more about dogs within the, uh, in the scriptures. But I found two uses that I want to share with you. The first is from the book of Judges. Chapter 7. 
But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whoever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue, as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was three hundred men. But all the rest of the people get down on their knee, got down on their knees to drink water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the three hundred men who lapped, I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go, every man to his place. So the chosen 300 among those of Gideon were those who lapped water like dogs. These are the chosen of God, those who lap. Okay, this is one side of this. Of this. Then we have... From Psalm 22, which is the very prophetic psalm about the death of Christ. And from verse 16, Psalm 22. For dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dog. Okay, so here in this psalm, Psalm 22, two uses of the word dog. Okay, and I find this very significant, very important. It has to do with the most prophetic moment in the life of Christ as he was on the cross. Okay, and so, I mean, we have the sign right now is that the dragon, okay, the dragon, which is China, and the year of the dog. And then I didn't look this passage up to have a screenshot of it right now. Well, okay, I, um, I paused the video and I got a screenshot of this. And um, so this uh, passage, let's see where this was, where I got this from. Okay, this is from Matthew 15. It says, But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. And so there's a comparison between the children and the dogs. The children eat directly from the master's hand, but the dogs eat the crumbs that fall at the master's table. And so, you know, we've been waiting for the sign of the dragon, which has been... You know, the sign of the dragon is that he will devour the children. And we have a connection between the dogs and the children. And this woman said, yes, okay, I don't even mind if you call me a dog. Because 
I, you know, I don't deserve to be at the table, but, you know, even the dogs, Lord, have mercy on me. Even a dog will eat at the master's table. And Jesus commended her for her great faith, for her great faith, for her great humility, and the blessing of God was upon her. She received her healing. She received her miracle because she was humble enough to accept the fact that she was even uh, a dog. Okay, and so there's a comparison between the children and the dogs in a, in a sense in this passage. And so the, the, the dragon is going to be devouring the children. And then we have dog meat for Olympic soup. And we have the year of the dog. And this is all connected by a seven day warning from February 10th to February 17th. Okay, this is the day, this is the, the key moment of this news article, February 10th, the first day of the Olympics, and this is the headline. Okay, dog meat for Olympic soup. Well, this is the warning right here. This is the warning that the children are going to be devoured and that the dogs, the ones that God has chosen, even the, 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 the meek and lowly, the ones that God has chosen, these are going to be meat and they're going to be devoured by the dragon and by the descendants of the dragon through the time of the great tribulation that is coming. So this is the message that I wanted to share with you, this is, seems very clear to me that this is a serious, serious warning. It's a dark warning. And, you know, we need to be on the rapture cruise of a lifetime. As I'm here in Cozumel and the Lord has me here on February 10th, the same day as the beginning of the Olympics and the same day as this warning is coming out and, and I'm here to receive a cruise ship. And Noah got on the boat on February 10th and this was the exact day I needed to be here. We've been sharing this message for five years and this is the first time we've really had the opportunity to get away for three days out of our general area and we came over and have had a wonderful time in Cozumel, and the Lord had us here exactly on February 10th. And so, do you have your ticket? Are you ready to get on the rapture cruise of a lifetime? I pray you guys are blessed today. In Jesus' name, amen.